Alex from Fresh Hands here again. Today we're doing butts, pork butts that is. We're, today we're just going to be doing a simple smoke of a pork butt on the Yoder YS 1500 pellet smoker. Uh, we're going to smoke it to about 190 degrees internal temperature uh, and we're going to pull it off at about 160 and wrap it. So stick around because it's going to be an awesome cook. All right everyone. I've got two pork butts here. Uh, I went and picked these up from Costco the other day. So we're just gonna cut these open here. And we are cooking two today. I figure, why not cook a couple if you got them? Let's pull that one out. Pull this one out. All right, now in general, these don't require very much trimming. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to take some of this fat off because this is all just gonna get thrown away when you pull it off the grill anyways. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit of this fat cap off. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some of the barbecue purists out there will scowl at me for, or scoff at me rather, for doing this. But this is just the way I like to do it because I just figure what's the point in spending all that time getting that bark going if the end product isn't what you want it to be. And you wind up throwing away half of it. So see right there, we're gonna get some good bark out of that. All right, our next step is to use a binder. I'm just using plain old yellow mustard today. So it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna put that on the meat here. You don't have to go too heavy. Just do it however you like, however, however much you think you need in order for that rub to stick. That's all we're trying to do here. It's not gonna impart any flavor on the meat or anything like that. Just rub it all around this top side on both of these big beautiful butts. And you can see these are boneless. They've deboned these, so um, I prefer the bone in, but uh, sometimes our, uh, our Kroger here is a little hit or miss. They don't always have, uh, have good meats for barbecue. Um, so today what I'm gonna be doing is putting on three different rubs. Uh, and I like this just because it's really hard to over season these pork butts. Uh, what you'll find is when you pull this, you're, since we're not injecting it, a lot of that flavor doesn't really soak into the meat very well. So what we have to do is just basically layer on that flavor really nicely from the start. Um, so what I like to do is, you guys already know, I'm, I'm, this, I'm a big Angelo's fan. I like, like the taste of Angelo's and on a pork butt it's great because um, while sweet rubs do go really well on pork, um, this one's going to have a little bit more of that spice. And I like it where it, it's a little bit spicier. Um, and we're gonna add some other tones in here too, but I like to keep it more of a, a Texas style when I'm doing my pulled pork. Um, I know that's not how they do it up in pulled pork country. Texas is definitely brisket country. So I tend to preference my, <laughs> my meats to taste a little bit more like brisket. I, I just, I'm more of a salt and pepper fan anyways. Not really into all that sweet sweetness, but you can go pretty heavy on here. Just kind of shake it, make sure you're covering everything. Make this into a pretty little butt. All right, look at that. Get it nice and coated here. Go back to the other one a little bit. Whatever you think is gonna make your brisket taste exactly how you want it to taste. I know this is gonna work really well for mine. Now, I like to add another layer to it. Um, I, this Rib Whisper Texas Love Rub, I just find it, it's got just a couple of herbal tones to it that make it just awesome. Um, it really, really adds to, to the flavor of the meat. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on here. And then the third rub I'm gonna use is, yes, it's a brisket rub, but I promise you, it tastes awesome on pork, um, is this Holy Cow um, uh, uh, rub from Meat Church. Meat Church makes some awesome rubs. I've never been disappointed in any of their rubs. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on there too. 
once again, I know there's a lot of barbecue guys out there that are probably freaking out because I don't have any of these sugary base rubs on here, but you just got to do what makes you happy with barbecue. That's the whole point. We're here to have fun, here to make good food, food that we like to eat, not necessarily what a judge likes to eat or what someone on the internet says, uh, says you should like to eat. So, you know, have at it. Don't, don't let anyone tell you how to cook your own meat. You're the one that has to eat it at the end of the day. Man, that's a little bit of a soapbox there. <laughs> now, we'll just rub this one down, and we'll do the same thing on this side. guys these are nice and seasoned up now so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna wrap these up I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a couple of hours it's early in the morning now this is gonna be a long cook these things tend to take a while to cook I mean these are big hunks of meat and I'm trying to cook them to 190 I'm gonna be cooking at a little bit of a higher temperature today than I normally do I usually do about 225 but I'm gonna be doing 250 um, that tends to help you get up to the temperature just a little bit quicker and I find the smoke and bark build up is just about as good as 225. Um, so we're a little bit, I wouldn't say rushed, but we're trying to get these done a little bit quicker than we normally do. So I'm gonna go let this this sit up. You'll see that you'll see this uh, rub start to soak into the meat and really tack it up before we put it on the grill. So I'm gonna go get the Yoder YS 1500 fired up, uh, get that thing nice and up to temperature, throw these in the fridge for a little bit, let them just kind of, you know, make a little a little rub love there. And, uh, and then we'll catch you guys when we're ready to put them back on, uh, put them onto the smoker initially. So stick around because it's going to be awesome. All right, everybody, we're ready to put these pork butts onto the uh, smoker here. Um, we're going to just go ahead and put them on. Sorry for the bad lighting out here, but as you can see, or may not be able to see the uh, the rub has really started soaking into these pork butts. So um, I mean, they just they just look like they're ready to go. I mean, the yoder's all nice and fired up here. Um, we're still coming up to temperature a little bit, but I don't think that's a problem. We're gonna go ahead and put them on there before we get up to temperature because we'll have a little bit of fluctuation throughout the cook anyways. But uh, we'll go ahead get these things put on for you, and then we'll meet you back when we're ready to wrap. Remember, we're gonna wrap this at 160. Uh, today, I'm cooking on sugar maple and oak pellets. I, I've just been loving that combo. Uh, there's something about that. It, it just, it, there's something extra it adds to the meat, and I just really like it. So I definitely recommend giving that one a try. But uh, we'll go ahead, get these thrown on here, and then we'll meet you back when we're, when we're ready to wrap at 160. We're just going to wrap it in aluminum foil. Nothing too crazy here. Super easy cook. Uh, it's almost impossible to screw up this cut of meat. So stick around. Time for a butt update. We have hit 160 degrees internal temperature, so that means it's time to get these two pork butts off of the smoker. So let's take a quick look. As you can see here, let me dust that off. On uh, one of our channels, we're at, we're basically ready to go there. See, we're we're sitting sitting just where we want to be at this point in the process. So let's take a look there. Holy crap! Those look awesome. As you can see. I, I've added in some racks of ribs there, but uh, we've got two really nice looking pork butts, so we're going to go ahead and pull those off and bring them inside to wrap, so we'll catch you up when we're in there. Our butts are now off of the smoker. We reached that 160 degrees internal. You saw we were about at, at 162. You know, this this isn't bowling. There aren't any rules here. We can do kind of whatever we want. So 
Uh, in this case, I've got both of these butts, and I was just kind of thinking, given that there are no rules, you know, why not try something different between these two butts here? So I'm going to wrap this smaller butt in aluminum foil like I always do, um, except this time I'm actually going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I like the taste that that imparts on pork. It just, it's got a good flavor to it. I'm going to mix in a little butter in there for some richness. But then I'm going to take this bigger butt and I'm going to wrap it in pink butcher paper. I have literally never wrapped a pork butt in pink butcher paper before. We got some friends coming over tonight, so I think, you know, what better what better way to try it out and see what people like better than to wrap them two different ways and, and kind of see. So uh, let's go ahead and get these things wrapped. I'm just going to put them up here on the counter. And first, we're going to take this smaller butt here. You can see we've got some great bark build up there. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to put a hair of this apple cider vinegar in here. I mean, I'm not doing anything, anything big there. And I'm going to slice off a little bit of butter. And I'm just going to let that melt on top of there because that is going to be awesome. So just wrap it. I'm going to do a double wrap here. Let's see if I can get this right. Oh, yeah. That, that apple cider vinegar with that Angelo's rub, it's just, it's just awesome. Let's do that. Uh, kind of do this one this way. Get a good wrap on there. All right. Yeah. That is going to be a small but rich butt. <laughs> it's going to be great. All right. Set that aside. All right. I've pre-cut some pink butcher paper. I may have cut a little too much here, but once again... Kind of like non, there aren't any rules. And for those of you that don't know, I'm quoting the great Walter Sobchak. Awesome character. All right, I'm gonna throw some butter in there too. Just for fun. I'm not gonna put the apple cider vinegar in because I just don't feel like cleaning up a mess. So we'll just go here and here. Wrap it under. Hold it under. Oh, really nice and tight there. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. All right, I and I, I don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and, and put another another round of, of paper on there. Just because like it's difficult. All right. That right there is a package that I think anybody would welcome with open arms. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, take these two butts, put them back out on the smoker, and uh, we're going to let them go to about 190, 195 degrees. Uh, there's, uh, you know, there's once again, no, no distinct science to that either. Um, but I mean, that's basically when you're going to start seeing everything start to break down there and really get that. When you start thinking pulled pork, we're going to be able to pull this sucker with our hands and it's just going to come right apart. Uh, you know. So anyways, we'll go ahead and do this and we'll meet you back out at the smoker. We've now hit 190 on our butcher paper wrapped butt. Um, we took the aluminum foil one off a little while ago because it just got up the temp a little bit quicker, which I guess is kind of what you would expect. So this butt cook is almost over with. So let's take a look. So once again, we hit 190. Let's pull our probe out here. And then, there we go. It's hard to tell kind of how tender and juicy it is at this point because um, it's wrapped. Remember, we wrapped it in a couple of additional layers of paper than we probably needed to. But remember, we're still getting some smoke penetration. So it'll be really interesting to see kind of what the difference is. guys when we're ready to pull it. For once I can say that I like the smell of a butt. This butt smells awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and unwrap it. This is our aluminum foil wrap one. Oh would you look at that? Some great bark build up there. <laughs> And it just wants to come apart. Let's uh, let's dig in. Um, 
I mean, look at that. Look at look at that. I mean, just perfect. I'm just gonna go. I've got a little tray over here, so I'm just gonna pull this thing apart. like the herbal notes that that that, that rub gives and then we, we switch it up a little bit remember we put a little bit of that brisket rub on totally up to you how you want to do it you know if you just the goal here is to make beautiful meat that you love to eat that you want to serve to your friends family loved ones co-workers anything like that or just whatever makes you most happy when you're eating that's the whole point here you're, you're putting in I mean this this whole day was between nine and ten hours and I mean, if you're spending that much time cooking one of these things, I mean, you better enjoy what you're doing, right? So yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, in less than five minutes, we're gonna pull this thing apart. Oh yeah, look at that. So, and remember, we cut some of that fat off, but as you can see, there's, there's plenty of fat here. I mean, all that juice rendered down, now what you can do is you can let this kind of warm up and you can scrape that fat off the top and get yourself some jus. Uh, I'm not going to do that here. Uh, we kind of busted it all over all over our tray, but you can definitely do that. Siphon it off, pour it over this stuff. I mean, but look at this. I mean, it's it's awesome. Let's, let's go ahead and pick out some pieces and give it a taste. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, I like so... Let's dissect this. <laughs> that Angelo's, you taste it, awesome. But then, oh man, I think the brisket rub's gonna be a new thing that kinda just add on top. Remember, we didn't put a ton on there. We just sprinkled a little bit of that brisket rub on top. That's a dang good pork butt. I like it. Well, y'all, um, I hope I hope you take some of these insights and you go try it for yourself, see if you like it. Um, once again, have fun with cooking. Cooking, I mean, that's the whole point of it, is to have fun, relax, enjoy your time with your friends and family. So uh, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down on the bottom and then hit that bell. That bell is going to tell you every time we post a new video. And we're trying to post a new video every week. Um, sometimes we're a little late, sometimes we're a little early. So like I said, uh, until next time, happy cooking.